Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Legendary FIFA back with another video today. So as you guys can clearly see on the screen, we have gotten the flashback Donny Alves. He cost me about two to 300K, but I used several, like a lot of untradeable players, including like David De Gea. Cause in my luck, I would get him again in rewards on Thursday if I take untradeable packs. But this guy has 90 pace, 81 shooting, 85 passing, 89 dribbling, 85 defending, and 75 physical. First of all, I wanted to apologize for not including the in-game stats. I'll probably edit in another clip of the in-game stats. As promised, bros, I wasn't going to forget putting his in-game stats in the video. So he has high-low work rates, which can be iffy at times, but if you have him on stay back while attacking, he will stay back. Preferred foot, obviously he's a righty. And then he has three-star weak foot and four-star skill moves, which is actually insane for right back. And he reminds me of a Juan friend flashback. I just think that he has a little bit less work rate, uh, less work rates, but his stats are higher all around. Now, let's jump into his attribute details. So acceleration and sprint speed, incredible for a defender shooting that's insane for a defender come on now obviously he doesn't have the finishing because he's a right back but like look at the long shots 88 long shots 98 shot power volleys and uh, penalties are different i mean not different they're okay too so then look at his passing his passing was his highlight stat if not like his dribbling was good too but his passing oh my god for a right back i've never seen better passing in the whole entire game from a right back vision incredible crossing incredible his free kick accuracy is probably really good but his free kick stance is just way too difficult to like do anything with it short pass long pass curve insane dribbling as you guys can see everything is really good only thing i wish was reactions was a little higher but that's okay interceptions that's his 88. In my opinion, it's like 95 because he just steps in and jumps in front of everything. Um, and the only thing that lets him down is if he had a little bit better stamina and uh, probably if he had better strength to just body off defenders more. But the thing is, since his aggression is so high, he actually is able to body off defenders at times. So now we're going to jump into the gameplay. Our first opponent had Anthony Martial, Aubameyang, Lucas Mora, Kovacic, Makaleli, Oscar, uh, Alexandro, David Luiz, Vertonghen, Valencia, and Courtois. I just wanted to show you guys the teams we had real quick because I played in D2 against really high-rated players. So I, I dribble out with Courtois as a joke just to test Dani Alves jumping. Do you see how he won that header over the defender? And then watch this. If Dani Alves never would have won that header, we would have never got in on this attack. I should have scored with Neymar, but we would have never scored if it wasn't for Dani Alves winning that header. That was one of the two or three things that like I just absolutely loved about Dani Alves. Like, it, that's what made him or me originally love the card. Now, let's jump into his best quality, his passing. Did you see that pass perfectly in front of Neymar? Neymar is obviously going to just cut in, dribble, do whatever Neymar does, Neymar type things. But that would have never happened if it weren't for Dani Alves passing. Right here, Sergio Ramos makes a tackle, Dani Alves plays up to Pogba, and then, you know, the rest is history. Like, we don't score here, we should have scored in my opinion, but that attack would have never happened if it weren't for Dani Alves. Right here, Dani Alves testing the dribbling out a little bit. Out muscles Aubameyang with like, I don't even know, barely any strength. Right there, Dani Alves makes the tackle, to like interception when the ball, he has the composure to dribble out the back and just play it up to Pogba. We go up, he, he continues his runs too, which is the good thing, that's the only issue. He has a high, low work rate, and if you guys put him into the attack, he will attack. However, if you have him on stay back attacking and you don't play him the ball, he will not attack unless you tell him to. So the second opponent we played has once to watch Cristiano Ronaldo, Gattuso, Pastore, Mbappe. Um, who is that right back? Dani Alves, guys. He has Dani Alves too. So Ferdinand, Messi, Varane, Marcelo. I think Neymar on the left man. And I didn't get to see the goalkeeper. I'm just assuming it's probably Courtois. But as you guys can see, very well very well very well played by my opponent in this game I, I i found it hard to break him down honestly but look at that donny alves played a beautiful pass there and then how am i not going to show you this free kick from neymar i know this is donny alves player review but if i'm going to be scoring free kicks like that with neymar i'm definitely going to throw them in there i tried taking a free kick or two with donny alves but i hate his run stance now watch this beautiful first touch on the ball beautiful dribbling and then easily just plays out of the back. That's the best thing about Dani Alves, his dribbling, his passing, and his just composure. Because look at this ball, he plays Neymar in behind. Look at this again. Now, this is where I'm gonna show his defensive part. You see how he basically lost the ball, but then he contained the defender. And I didn't mean to say lost the ball. He like lost the defender, but then he contained him off because he has the pace right here. He has the pace, composure to play it off to Ramos. In my opinion, if that's Kyle Walker, he might lose the ball there. 
um, right here we have Dani Alves on the ball. Look at the pace and the dribbling. Just, oh my gosh. And then he has the composure to just dribble, cut inside. And in my opinion, I tried to do a little bit too much with Dani Alves. Oh my God, look at that pass though. But like I was saying, I did a little bit too much with Dani Alves, a little bit too much dribbling for me to like test it out. Like, look at me, I should have passed the ball there. But he can dribble past one, two, three defenders, no problem. But he's not going to get past the last couple, so it's better to dish it off to your strikers. You see that? Everybody didn't even, everybody tried to attack Dani Alves in that possession because they know how big of an attacking threat he is and therefore leaving Conte so open. Now, Dani Alves again with the dribbling. Cuts it down the uh, down the right side. Plays Neymar. Neymar plays Dani Alves in behind. Look at this. The dribbling. His drag backs are kind of fun. That was a little heavy, but look at this cut inside. Dribbling. Oh, drag back. Yes. What a beautiful goal, Dani Alves. Then this is the second thing that made me think. Wow, this Dani Alves card. I am so happy because he can play any single position. And I'll let you guys know, because in the next game, there's something that I did with him that you guys probably would be shocked about. So, look at that beautiful finish right here. Dani Alves uh, gets the ball off of Courtois' punch. And then look at this. Look at how perfect of a ball this is to Conte. I have never seen any right back in this game. I've used so many ever do that kind of stuff. Dani Alves wins the ball for us in the back. Then, if it wasn't him for him again, like I was saying, we would have not gone on this counterattack. Dani Alves again, beautiful pass. It's like so silky smooth right in front of the defenders. I don't know how he does it. Then Dani Alves is the first one in front of the ball whenever defenders are trying to clear it out. And then beautiful dribbling. Like I said, I lost the ball there because whatever. I just wasn't composed and I tried to do too much. But Dani Alves is always the first person on the ball, has the composure and the dribbling to just lay it off and keep possession. Like I said, guys, don't try to do too much with him because he doesn't have like... He's not an attacker. He has attacking stats, but he's not an attacker. So, like, you can dribble past so many players, but just dish it off there because, like, he did his job. Like, he's a right back. He's not a striker. That's how he gets out of position if you try to do too much with him. Look at Dani Alves' speed. I don't know how the guy just got fell on the floor in the midfield. Somebody pushed him, but Dani Alves dribbles at the back, uses the pace, keeps possession. Look at this. Dani Alves plays Fabinho. Or no, never mind. That wasn't even this play. But look, look at all this dribbling. And then I try to do too much. I have a perfectly timed shot here, right? Oh, no, drag back and then a perfectly timed shot. But then it gets deflected. So right here, like I was telling you guys, I tried something crazy. I put Donny Alves as striker as a joke because I was losing 4-2 in like the 87th minute. And I put Lucas at right back too, just so you know. But look at this pass in behind. Yes, it got deflected slightly, but Donny Alves gets an assist. He can play anywhere on the pitch. Like, it's actually insane. And then right here, in the last minute of the game, which would have been absolutely insane, Donny Alves gets the ball in behind, bodies off the defender beautifully. La Croquette's inside, times it, gets blocked. Can he finish? No, he can't. I was so disappointed. But I put Donny Alves as a striker in the last 34 minutes of the game. He got an assist, and he almost scored the tying goal for us. Like, that's the thing with Donny Alves. He's amazing. So in three games for me, Donny Alves, he scored one goal, had one assist, and he had two yellow cards. So the yellow cards was because I was joking around. I tried to dribble too much, and then as soon as I lost the ball, I tackled, and, like, I got yellow cards for it. Now, what would I give Donny Alves out of 10? I would give him a 9. I'd say a 9.5 out of 10. And for his price, he's, like, two to 300 k Honestly, in my opinion, I think he's 100% worth it if you have untradeable players in your club please do that um his best like uh positions are right back you can play center midfielder honestly and you can even throw him up a striker if you really want because he can do everything um what else can i say about this guy it's just no words to explain this guy he's absolutely incredible it reminds me of the real donny alves